Hello, I am Indigo Sage. Welcome to your Act Now message from your guardian angels. Your Act Now message features two choices that are causing a dilemma in your life. Your guardian angels are providing the information in this reading to help you make a choice so that you may act now on your decision. The Act Now message in this reading is for those of you who may find yourself needing to make a choice between love and career at the time you are watching this video. The message for choice one advises you on love and choice two will advise you on career. Your Act Now topics will change according to what your guardian angels deem are your highest messages. Allow me to tell you a little information about the designated decks for all Act Now readings. They are as above and so below. The As Above deck focuses on the nature of universal energies present in the world as it relates to your choices. The So Below deck will be used as clarifiers for the As Above deck. The So Below deck will show you how the universal energies play out in our everyday life as well as how we experience the elements. Information for all decks used in this reading will be in the description box below. With that being said, let's get started. So let me tell you the way it's going to work, which if you've watched choice one, then you should already know. But this is the as above row. This is the so below row. So the card one will be here and the clarifier is here. The card two is here and the clarifier is here and so on and so forth. When we get to the top the as above is here and the so below clarifier is there and the angel number tile will be here and then this I'm gonna save for the very end. So for your choices we have card one that represents the past and that is the as above card here which is seven of fire and that represents past in which it relates to career and it is reversed so the seven of fire reversed is represented by the planet Uranus which is known as the crazy genius. In the upright position Uranus frees us from stagnation and inspires independent thinking and innovation by promising exciting times. The seven of fire brings the unexpected. In the reverse position it ignites extremely impulsive behavior with a desire for rebellion that will lead to regret. So let's clarify that. It's clarified by the seven of wands reversed, which is here, the bottom row directly under it. The seven of wands reversed says, well, in the upright position, seven of wands gives you strength to stand up for yourself. On the contrary, in the reversed, it is an energy of defensiveness and overly protective. The only good thing I can say about that is this is in your past. Okay? Moving forward. We are in the now position, which is represented by the nine of air in reversed. So this is the as above, nine of air reversed. And it's represented by runes. Runes mince no words and do not suffer fools gladly. Nine of air represents great wisdom only after suffering and sacrifice. The shadow side of this card in reverse means there are aspects of the situation you are not prepared for. So it's best to walk past this path and return to it later that's in your now position. It's clarified by the nine of swords reversed which is this card here. Nine of swords reversed 
says all sorts of thoughts and ideas dress themselves up as truths. They become very persistent and make it difficult to see other possibilities, no matter how much better or close at hand they seem to be. In the reverse position, it suggests severe nightmares and promises and problems with insomnia. So that represents what you're experiencing now. The next position is the best to come which is represented by the Six of Fire, which brings us Saturn. So this is the As Above Six of Fire, and it's in the upright, and that's the best to come. And it says Saturn rules career goals and long-term achievements. You will get recognized for these achievements, but with Saturn, they will be hard won. And now for further explanation on the hard one, excuse me, the hard one, I am going to read from the guidebook. And it says, our journey toward realizing our ambitions is filled with serious choices, including how we deal with authority figures and obstacles. We confront structures and restrictions and must determine how we face them, overcome them, or work within them. Through this, we gain experience and wisdom. Life lessons are taught and learned or repeated. The Six of Fire brings a conservative, serious energy. Situations must be reviewed and analyzed and decisions made with calculating precision. For what happens now will determine future trends within you, your patterns. Much can be won, but not without a cost. So what I want you to pay attention to... And what most sticks out to me is that your actions now will determine your future trends. Which means, to me, it's kind of as if it's the now or never type of thing. And if you're putting up with something that you shouldn't be putting up with, then you're going to continue to have that trend in your life. You're going to continue to be putting up with things that you shouldn't be putting up with. Now, if you decide right now, look, I've had enough. This is not right. I know it's not right. Or I don't see a future. Or you've been promising me this raise. Or, you know, I've been waiting, 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 and it's not happening. I'm going to stop this right now and go a different direction that is best for me. Then that is a trend that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. So right now, your decision will be the trend that's going to follow you for the rest of your life. It's very important to know. It's clarified by the Six of Wands, which is here, below. The Six of Wands clarifier says, Be focused. Set your intentions. You'll be amazed with what you can achieve when you overcome challenges and reach your highest potential. Nothing can match your inner satisfaction. The And that's the best to come. The worst to come is the Eight of Water, which is here. That's the As Above deck. And it features Saradwin, the goddess of poetry. She's also the goddess of the Calderon, but for this instance... I'm going with poetry because I feel like it has to do with words. So this tells me that you need to be careful with your words. Your words may have gotten you in trouble in the past. Your decisions right now will have long-term ramifications. However, don't become stagnant. You have the power, so utilize it wisely. I feel very strongly about this card telling me something about your words and how careful you need to be with them. You know, words, um, even though there's a little rhyme, you know, that I knew when I was little, uh, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is not true. <laughs> I'm just going to say that's not true, you guys. Um, our words can slice and dice like knives. 
Uh, our words can get us in trouble. And especially we are talking about career here. So you've got to be careful with your words. It is clarified. And that's the, in the position of the words to come. So. And it's clarified by the eight of chalices. Which is so below right here. And she's surrounded by books filled with words. And the Eight of Chalices says, No matter how carefully we select a job to pursue, sometimes we make mistakes. When we recognize that decision is no longer serving our highest good, we need to let go and start over. So the worst to come is you clinging to something that is no longer useful. Okay? And it says, like, if it didn't work, then you need to accept that. Now, the last card is, if you remain on this path, it's going to show you what's going to happen. And you have the five of water reversed, which is up here. Five of water reversed. That's the as above deck. And it says... It's represented by Bellona, who is the goddess of war. Okay, the goddess of war. That's what remains. That's what's going to come if you remain on this path. Um, which translates to the clashing of wills. She's surrounded by danger and deception. But her most powerful weapon is her mind. This card indicates chaos, drama, and that the communication is off. So, it's clarified by the Five of Chalice. In the reverse, and here's the Five of Chalice card from the So Below deck. And it says, it's represented by grief. Things did not work out. Your expectations were not realized. Which means you will have to give in and mourn your loss. Call on the divine for guidance to be comforted so you can heal. And it says also don't stay in stagnation. Don't be stuck in stagnation is like the ringing message in this entire choice to career reading if you are stuck in stagnation get out of it you need to make a choice i'm not going to tell you what to do i can only tell you what your guardian angels have suggested and what they say are the facts surrounding your choices they've given you the past the now, the best to come, the worst to come, and what will happen if you remain on this path. And what I can say is stagnation is not good. So we round this out with your angel number tile, which is four for this message. So here are a few keywords for angel number four. They are Practicality, organization, mastery, building solid foundations, hard work, honesty, inner wisdom, reality, self-control, stability. And number four message says, your guardian angels offer support and strength. Just ask. We all have free will, so it's important that you ask for help from your guardian angels. Number four encourages you to put proper preparation into your plans and set things in motion with system and order so that you can achieve your goals and aspirations. That's what number four is telling you about your career choice. Now, to round out both choices, I picked a card from the Sacred uh, Geometry Activation Oracle deck. And 
it was transition, which I think is perfect. Absolutely perfect for this. It's transition. Card 43. And it says, the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. I could not have said it better. So that is the lasting message that your guardian angels want you to know. And they are there with you. Just waiting for you to ask for help and assistance, guidance and comfort. May you be blessed. Have a wonderful day.